You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Major League Baseball. When you think of cheating in baseball, everyone thinks of the sign stealing scandal with the Houston Astros that took place in 2017. The Astros ended up getting fined. Uh, Their manager was fired. The general manager was fired as well. It was a bit time scandal. However, guys, during that same season of 2017, the Boston Red Sox were fined by the um, fined by Major League Baseball for using Apple watches to steal signs. And also in that, the Yankees, they also were fined for illegally using the dugout phone. Folks, I said it before that when it comes to cheating in team sports, cheating has been going on for a very, very long time in baseball. Whether it's steroids, greenies, stealing signs, court bats, um, pine tar, it's been going on. And there's some team right now that's thinking of a new way to circumvent the system. It's always going to be like that in baseball. However, guys, there actually may be a bigger scandal going on right now than what we were led to believe. Now, it all goes back to 2017 when the Yankees were fined for illegally using the dugout phone. However, guys, it actually may be deeper than that. And there may be some corruption with Rob Manfred. Check this out. Judge rules Rob Manfred letter about Yankees sign stealing probe should be public. And folks, if what we think is actually in this letter, this could be very, very damaging to Rob Manfred and also to the New York Yankees. Let's read some of this, guys. The Yankees suffered their first loss of the year Monday when a federal judge ruled a letter from MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred to General Manager Brian Cashman in 2017 regarding the team's alleged involvement in sign stealing should be made public. Now, the Yankees have been fighting to keep that letter private. But I say this, if you didn't do anything, why are you trying to hide this letter? It goes on, it says, but multiple sources continue to insist the letter describes only minor transgressions and the Yankees attempt at keeping the letter which steamed from the investigation into the Red Sox Apple Watch Gate scandal. Private is that the team doesn't believe its reputation should be harmed due to a lawsuit that didn't involve the Yankees. The Yankees and MLB have two weeks to decide whether to appeal the latest ruling. Yeah, because they were getting sued because um, of uh, sports betting. Uh, Betters were actually thinking that, hey, we lost money because um, uh, the Yankees were cheating. And so that's why the lawsuit was actually brought up. The U.S. Second Court, Second Circuit Court of Appeals disagreed with the Yankees argument that the release of the letter, quote, would be distorted to falsely and unfairly generate the confusing scenario that the Yankees had somehow violated MLB's sign stealing rules when, in fact, the Yankees did not close quote. The courts, the court uh, wrote in response, quote, that argument, however, carries little weight. Disclosure of the document will allow the public to independently assess MLB's conclusion regarding the internal investigation as articulated to the Yankees. And the Yankees are fully capable of disseminating their own views regarding the actual content of the Yankees letter. Now, guys, we're going to talk about this next part here. And boy, if um. This is true right here. If Rob Manfred let the Yankees off the hook for this, but ended up punishing the Houston Astros, I believe that he should be fired. I really do, because you can see, folks, there there would actually be a double standard here. But let's go ahead and read a little bit more of this. The letter is said to deal with a pair of sign stealing related transgressions committed by the Yankees, including improperly using a dugout phone in a season before 2017, as well as referencing the fact that some Yankees players stationed themselves in the team's replay room in an attempt to steal opponent signs, then relayed that information to runners on second base 
so they could try to tell the hitter what was coming. Essentially, guys, so they're in the replay room and they're looking at everything real time. And then I guess, you know, they relay that message via the dugout phone. And then the coach is going to give a player on second base a sign on what they think is coming. And then the player relates that to the hitter. So similar to the Astros using the trash cans, but in a different way right here. And allegedly this letter here from Rob Manfred to uh, Brian Cashman exposes all of that. And the Yankees don't want this letter to get out there, but they talk about only minor transgressions. We'll have to see. MLB previously released information about the use of the dugout phone and absolved the Yankees of any penalties for the actions, saying in a statement, quote, we clarified the rules going forward to expressly prohibit such conduct. The court also agreed with a previous ruling that a substantial portion of the letter has already been made public by MLB in a press release about the investigation. Chief Judge Deborah Ann Livingston wrote in her ruling. Also at issue from the Yankees perspective is that it will tie the organization into the sign stealing scandals committed by the Astros and Red Sox. Since the letter was part of discovery into a lawsuit that was filed by DraftKings betters who sued MLB, the Red Sox and the Astros for $5 million. The Yankees also argued the letter from Manfred to Cashman was confidential, which is why it should be, uh, it should remain sealed. So there you have it guys. Boy, when this letter comes out, man, and if there is more corruption with uh, Rob Manfred and the Yankees, you know, trying to cover their tracks, if the Yan- if this letter actually t- says that Yankees players were in the replay room decoding um, signals and pitches that were coming and rel- relaying that via um, the dugout phone. Rob Manfred has a lot to answer for with this. I mean, I don't see how he can actually punish the Astros. Now, he punished the Astros in, uh, in 2020. OK, but he knew about this scandal three years before. And at that time, he didn't even really know what was going on with the Astros. The Astros things really didn't come out till uh, late 2019, early 2020. And then they were punished. But the Yankees essentially got off the hook. Boy, Rob Manfred would have a lot to answer for if these findings or what we'll find out here pretty soon uh, comes true. We'll have to see what actually happens in this with this letter. But uh, what do you guys think of this? Do you guys believe that Rob Manfred is corrupt and tried to cover up? Major cheating from the New New York Yankees. Do you think this man is a hypocrite for finding the Astros and not the Yankees? In this case, the the Astros 2017 championship. And I'm a I'm an Astros fan. It's been pretty much tainted. It has been, even though they've proven, you know, they can get to the World Series. They've been to two other World Series, you know, since uh, 2017. And um, they don't really have a whole lot of players left from that championship team. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.